Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Abdullah Sir Science class. In today's class, we will be learning about the concept acceleration. This term acceleration is very important for those who like fast moving vehicles, bodies, bullets, rockets, trains and all, right? So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. To the class all right in the last class we have learned about uniform motion and non-uniform motion let me remind you what was that when a body moves with a constant speed when the body moves with a constant speed and constant direction it is said to be in uniform motion right and we've learned that when the body's speed changes speed changes or direction changes or both changes then the body is called to be in non-uniform motion right so this was what we have learned right so if speed constant and direction constant then only the motion is constant if speed not constant or direction not constant or both not constant that means all of them are changing that means the motion is non-uniform all right this was what uh, we have learned in the last session of our online class okay let's continue the class today in our today's class, we'll be learning about acceleration. The when CBSC's textbook, it is mentioned on 8.3 as rate of change of velocity. Acceleration is nothing but a rate of change of velocity. Let's find out what do you mean by this, right? Rate means what? Whenever the velocity is changing with respect to time, it is referred as rate, right? So whenever you hear a word rate, it is something relating to what time? Right. So see here, this rate of change of velocity is nothing but change of velocity with respect to time. Well, that means as time changes, if the velocity is also changing. So this change in velocity due to time is called as acceleration. So what is acceleration, guys? Acceleration is rate of change of velocity, rate of change of velocity. To define this acceleration, we have a formula. Let's see, I'm writing up the formula here acceleration a is defined uh, denoted by the letter a and acceleration a is delta v change of velocity by time see what is delta representing here delta says always uh, it refers to change so what is changing velocity is changing is it or not so if velocity changes then it is referred as delta and it is changing with respect to what time so this is called as acceleration I guess some people need a little more explanation for this. Don't worry, it was just word explanation given to you and the formula wise, I am going to explain you what is acceleration for sure. What I just told is acceleration is change of velocity. Acceleration is change of velocity. Let's see, I'm going to draw a diagram. Uh, if suppose there is a car here and uh, okay, car or a bus, if this bus is moving with a constant velocity, that is not velocity is changing, no direction, no speed, nothing is changing. Velocity not changing means what? Neither speed nor direction. Both are not changing. So if velocity is considered to be uh, 10 meters per second, if the velocity is 10 meter per second, then it's very high value by the way. So velocity is 10 meter per second continuously after a uh, time of uh, 5 seconds you saw the bus again. The bus is again moving with the same velocity. If bus is again moving with the same velocity that means what is constant here? Velocity is not changing. It, it is constant. All right. If velocity is constant, if velocity is constant that means the acceleration is not there at all. Why? Because the word acceleration tells you that there must be a change in velocity. Is there any change in velocity after a period of time? No. Sir, so after 5 seconds, I see that the velocity is same like previous one. So, if velocity is not changing, acceleration is not there. The body is not accelerating. The body's velocity is not changing. The body is not accelerating. All right. So, that means we understood the point that wherever, wherever there is a change in velocity, there might be some acceleration. There is some acceleration, okay? So, if there is no change in velocity, no acceleration, all right? No hard work, no result. It's like that. <laughs> is it or not? Okay, come back. <clears throat> what I was saying is, if body moves with the same velocity, 
then there is no acceleration acceleration means the rate of increase or decrease of velocity rate of increase or decrease of velocity is called an acceleration all right so okay let's have a look that means there is no velocity if there is no change in velocity there is no acceleration all right so let's have few examples here what if a car or a bus i can draw a bus easily all right if what if a bus it has rest rest means it's not moving at all it's not moving at all so if body is at rest the bus is at rest then the velocity is going to be zero if velocity is zero then uh, velocity is zero always and velocity is not changing and the body is not moving moving body poses acceleration or the body which is about to move if its velocity changes then it poses acceleration since the velocity is zero there is no change in velocity throughout the time if the bus is not moving if the bus is not moving at all then the acceleration becomes zero after a period of 10 seconds if you see the bus again at the same place and the velocity is not changing then acceleration becomes zero like previous one so what are the condition where the acceleration is zero where the body is not moving and where the body is moving but with constant speed moving but in constant speed so if speed that is velocity i'm talking about uh, velocity uh, is constant of or if velocity is zero then acceleration is zero i'm writing here important point let's see what the important point is if if velocity is constant if velocity is constant or if velocity is zero if velocity is zero or velocity is constant then the acceleration is going to be zero all right so we got to learn that acceleration is not there or it will be zero if velocity is zero and velocity is constant now let's have a look at the other condition when when and where do you get the acceleration okay so again you see it's rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity in a sense velocity changes then the acceleration is there all right so let's have an example again i'm drawing a bus again and the bus is at uh, rest all right if the bus is at rest then the velocity e could be zero all right now the bus has started from kpis to pick you up to come to school okay let's wish for it the bus must start early and it should take you up and come back to school we i am eager to see you to explain you there okay come back so i was saying the bus is at rest the velocity is at zero the i mean the velocity will be zero and after a period of uh, uh, one minute i find the bus is out of the gate it, it's running it's running now it was parked earlier it was parked it was not moving now it has started and started to move that means time has changed and the velocity has also changed you see it was zero and now it is maybe consider consider it is moving with five meter per second so velocity changes from zero to five meter per second so is there any change in velocity yes sir previously the velocities uh, bus velocity was zero now the bus velocity is five so it is v1 and it is v2 consider it's v1 and consider it to v2 so velocity has changed from v1 to v2 uh, let's not take time as one minute consider the time to be one second for easy thing all right acceleration small a is equals to change in velocity how much is the change how to get the change subtract the final velocity minus initial one all right so final velocity is what v2 minus initial velocity is what v1 by and uh, what is the time the change of time must also be noted right so time change is one second all right so either you can write t and then you can substitute it as a uh, uh, seconds all right let's see now a is equals to what is v2 v2 is a five meter per second and what is v1 zero and time taken is one second all right so our acceleration is 5 meter per second what is the acceleration value given 5 we got the acceleration value to be 5 meter per second thank you so much uh, now let's uh, move to the other topic i mean i will give, show you some animations let me switch that all right here there is a picture of so let's have a look at this picture if you see that the person is running here right and if you see the person's uh, speed is increasing so he's saying 
I am accelerating because I am speeding up. My continuously speed, that is velocity, is increasing. If there is a change in velocity, if there is a change means in a sense, either the velocity must increase or the velocity must decrease. Then only it is called as change. So whenever there is a change in velocity, there is some acceleration. So this person is uh, accelerating. So this person is accelerating. Okay. I am accelerating because I am slowing down, he is saying. Right. So if you see, uh, this person was moving faster than the speed has reduced and the speed has come down. So the, the velocity is decreasing, decreasing in a sense changing, it was something else now it is ch changing to some uh, uh, sh uh, lower value, the, he, decreasing from higher value to lower value. So velocity is decreasing then acceleration is also there. This acceleration is called as negative acceleration, why the velocity is decreasing and this acceleration is called as positive acceleration. So negative acceleration can also be called as deceleration, what do you call it? deceleration deceleration all right or else you can co also call it as retardation retardation okay don't worry about the, these uh, words these are just nothing but acceleration but in opposite direction all right so you see here not only this person and this person were all moving actually in straight direction but you look at this b this b is moving with a constant speed maybe the speed is same but direction is changing you see the direction is changing is it or not so this changing in direction represents that the velocity is changing velocity is changing velocity changes because of two things right remember speed changes or direction changes or both changes your direction is changing so velocity will also change so i wrote delta v delta means change if this uh, b is moving with a different velocity then there is acceleration right <coughs> so acceleration is there wherever there is velocity there is some acceleration okay okay let's have a look at this all right then let's have a look at this example in this we have velocities and accelerations figures are given here this car is moving with some velocity and going in this direction so velocity is a vector quantity if you remember and vector quantity has direction to be considered so here the direction is there plus that means going towards uh, right is considered as plus now and then uh, negative uh, going towards left will be minus so every time when you're moving or when you're showing the arrow towards plus then it, you must take the value as positive so velocity moving in this direction v must be plus okay then what happens Sir, the surface on which it is, uh, the car is running on is very bad surface. It's a mud. So mud does what? It decreases the speed. When it, how how does it decreases the speed? It applies a frictional force on it, right? So anyways, so the speed gets decreases, the velocity gets decreases. If the velocity is getting decreased, then the acceleration is in opposite direction, right? What do an acceleration do? You think? acceleration accelerate increases the speed negative acceleration decreases the speed so so there is negative acceleration that's why the velocity is decreasing otherwise you can take it in this way that the mud is there so velocity decreases sir why velocity decreases because the acceleration is negative acceleration is negative in this direction right now see here what happens uh, here if the car is moving in this direction so you as you took earlier this direction is plus now the opposite direction must be taken as minus the left one is taken as minus here so negative the car is moving in this direction negative direction so v is minus but what happening sir again there is a mud then the velocity will reduce if velocity reduces maybe acceleration is acting opposite to it whenever acceleration acts in, in the direction of velocity then the velocity increases when you accelerate the velocity increases when acceleration acts opposite direction when you apply brakes the velocity decreases then velocity decreases to zero right so brakes are acceleration but in negative direction so you can call it as deceleration right so here acceleration again in again it is in opposite direction so at last i must conclude with this four diagram is the velocity increases if acceleration acts in the same direction of velocity 
and velocity decreases if acceleration acts opposite direction to the velocity all right what is the point if the acceleration acts in the direction of velocity velocity will increase and if the acceleration acts an opposite direction to the velocity then the velocity decreases and car comes to rest so uh, that's it for today's class and the activity for you is give me the examples of the positive acceleration and neg negatively accelerated bodies positive accelerated body and negative accelerated bodies for example i will uh, give you one example of positive acceleration and negative acceleration otherwise i'll give you a question you just let me know whether it is positive and or negative and also let me know the reason for it okay a ball is falling down a ball falling down velocity changes right velocity will be zero uh, here when it is starting and it will be high at the end and be it will be high at the floor okay so velocity is increasing acceleration is there okay now you tell me whether the acceleration is positive or negative and the second example is the only example where the ball go goes up if the ball is thrown up you consider only half example don't let uh, consider this uh, again the ball coming down okay consider that i'm throwing a ball so ball when it's starting to go up the velocity will be high at this point and it will go slowly it reduces to zero so in this situation whether the acceleration is positive or negative please uh, give me with a clear explanation all right so thank you so much that's it for today's class this is your abdullah sir signing off assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh